The University of Siena presents a new human-robot interface built all around the subject for active interaction with the cognitive and emotional human domains and its potential in the study and treatment of depression. Our human-robot interface has been realized in collaboration with the Department of Neuroscience. It is reasonable to believe that beyond sensory motor control, the research on human-robotics interaction interfaces should extend also to other aspects of the human being. The observation of the subject behavior is provided by the measurements of his eye movements, search coils and video-based eye tracker are widely used today to record one subject eye motion. The recording of the eye movements and gaze fixation provide an objective evidence of many cognitive behaviors. Our human-robot interface architecture uses a video-based eye tracker by Applied Science Laboratory. The subject is placed in front of a PC monitor. As he looks at the visual stimulus, the eye tracker uses infrared light to enable pupil and cornea reflection tracking. After an initial calibration phase, the eye tracker can compute in real time the line of gates and the pupil diameter. The emotion can then be saved by the scientist for future analysis and filtering operations. The subject is stimulated by a set of magnetic pulses generated by the transcranial magnetic stimulator coil. TMS is a neuromodulatory technique employed for cognitive rehabilitation. A rapidly changing current flows into the TMS coils, thus producing a magnetic field that goes through the head into the brain. Very interested in stimulating the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex areas that are directly involved in emotions. In our experiments, we use a Maxtim super rapid stimulator and an eight shaped coil that permits to precisely direct the magnetic fields into the brain. The TMS coil is fixed to a robotic manipulator and effector. ASTIDET software allows the integration and exact synchronization of eye tracking and TMS. ASTIDET generates also the visual stimulus and the control inputs to the TMS. Much effort has been devoted to improve the usability of ASTIDET by means of its graphical user interface. In this way, it can be used also by domain experts more than robotics experts. The visual stimulus is generated using the Astident graphical user interface, which allows to load a set of pictures and define the time instance for picture presentation. Astident allows to manage also the properties of TMS pulses, such as frequency and starting delay. The subject has been visually stimulated with neutral, happy and sad facial expression. These have been shown according to a new visual stimulation protocol called memory-guided filtering. The MGF protocol first shows a neutral face so that the subject can naturally memorize all of its features. Then, MGF randomly shows a pair of happy and sad facial expression. In this way, MGF guides the subject's attention only to the most expressive facial feature, such as lips, mouth, and eyes. When the happy and sad faces are presented, the subject performs a high number of transitions between the two faces. In order to reduce the variability of the number of transitions, we have designed the MGF square protocol simply consists in showing the MGF protocol two times consecutively and in stimulating via TMS only when the happy and sad images are presented for the second time. In this way, we have noticed that the average value of transition strongly decreases. We here present preliminary studies in normal subjects and depression patients. In order to study the gait's behavior, we visually stimulated 30 subjects using 12 different phases. We analyzed the eye motion and devoted particular attention to fixation instance and the starting time. In the second experiment, we adopted the MGF square protocol to study the effect on TMS on the visual attention mechanism. We have performed both sham stimulation and repetitive TMS. In the sham, the coil is perpendicular to the head and the magnetic field has no effect on the brain. We have noticed that during sham, the subject's gates perform a normal studying phase with transition to one phase to the other, while during the repetitive stimulation of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the subject always perform fixations. In the last experiment, we present the results obtained on a voluntary patient who is affected by depression. We have used the MGF square protocol. First of all, we have seen that the patient was always looking at the same face features with minor attention to happiness. Second, and most important, we have always noticed that the subject gates was deviated towards the set phase at the moment of TMS. This experiment shows that our interface really acts on the cognitive and emotive behavior.